Hey my loves, Miss Hearts here. Um, this is your Taurus uh, special birthday love reading. I hope everyone is well. Let's just get started. Uh, let me adjust the camera. Sorry about the... Okay, there we go. All right, so let's get started. Uh, Taurus, you guys have unrequited love, finances, and career. It is safe for you to love and passion so I did the reading earlier for Taurus and I uploaded it some of you may have seen it but I think it was well it was deleted um, probably an accident but I've been having a lot of technical difficulties and the point is I believe it was for a reason uh, I think spirit was asking me to do this reading over again and translate something else uh, something differently than I did the first time, and that's what I'm here to do. So let's start with unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, so some of you could be dealing with someone, a love or romantic interest that is not that um, attractive to you or may not be as into you as you are into them. Um, most of the time, this is that one way love that's what unrequited means and um, it just feels like this person again would be kind of a setback to you it feels like this person would be too much of a burden it might take up too much of your time somebody that would just hold you back from your potential uh, this is spirit's way of rerouting you to someone else or perhaps to a different direction um, for some of you because we got the clarifier cards uh, at the tower here and we have the five of swords for some of you this person could be coming back into your lives this person that may have turned down a love offer from you in the past could be coming back with a new offer for some of you you could be turning down an offer of love from someone there could be two people in fact that you may be saying you know hasta la vista I can't do this I'm sorry um, you might be telling no you might be telling them no excuse me um, with the tower card here as well we do seem to have some sort of a shake-up here from the universe all right this is divine intervention so the divine is stepping in on your behalf this is something that is not meant to be for you taurus for some of you uh some taurians you know who you are but there is someone here and i won't say a sign because i really don't know i can't tell who but there is someone here that you are being swayed away from basically from the, by the universe you are being steered away from this person I think for good reason for very good reason um, we can look further into that actually I'm gonna just draw a card on top here and see what we have uh, I'm not surprised there could be a third party situation for some of you here there are three people in this card and um, we do have the three of pentacles here okay um, this card it's a little bit different than the original um, we have a man in this card who is basically looking at it seems like a statue of a boy that's doing some hard labor and holding some grains or heavy fruit something I don't know in a really big basket basically um, I think this has to do with, for some of you, it may have to do with someone that you meet at work. Um, there could be somebody that you end up collaborating with or someone that you worked with in the past or a business partner for some of you, but it's just someone that works in your field that you may have um, partnered with. Um, before on a on a work task or on a project or on a creative project something like that okay um, so this could be someone like yeah but uh, for some of you that could be a third party all right um, this person may have two options they're 
Three of Pentacles here. Um, could be Earth energy as well. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be in this picture. But um, even a Scorpio as well, perhaps, for some of you. Okay. But I just feel like this shakeup is meant to happen for a reason. So whatever is happening here with this unrequited love, I feel like it has to do with being guided in the right direction okay um moving on we have finances and career um with the finances and career card we have the knight of pentacles as the clarifier and then the knight of pentacles here in this deck is a man a knight that is definitely transfixed on that pentacle if you see he's holding it up in his hand and um yeah, he doesn't have his eyes on anything else at all. This person, this could be you, or it could be someone around you. This could be a Virgo. Um, someone is very much so focused. I almost wanted to say the word entitled. I don't know why. But somebody is focused on their work, money, finances, material gain, security, comforts, things like that. Take whichever one applies. I I was going to say some of you, there could be someone here that feels maybe entitled to some money from you or could be feeling entitled somehow. And I'm not sure how, but that is what my spirit guides just guided me to say. Entitled. Okay? I'm not sure if there's someone here that feels that way or if you feel that way about perhaps a maybe there's another person here that you're feeling that way about you feel entitled to something okay um some of you may have financial ties uh some sort of a financial debt maybe with someone a romantic partner it could be um, it could be with a, a crush, a love interest, somebody that you, a friend, I don't know. Um, but this is somebody that you do have romantic feelings for, I feel. Okay, so some of you are in that situation and those financial issues are affecting your love life right now. I think whatever this is that's happening, it's moving at a slow pace. So have patience because this will come to fruition and it will manifest but you need to be patient. This is moving very, very slowly. It's something that will take time before you can acquire it um, for some of you, okay? So take what resonates and let's move forward. Again, this could be a Virgo as well. Maybe there's a Virgo that's moving slowly towards you, okay, for some of you. Um, maybe they are bringing finances with them. Maybe they're bringing money with them towards you because you know the knight does have this already in his hand he already has it acquired he's just moving with it very slowly the horse is actually looking down he may not even be moving at all this horse may be actually parked i'm, I'm starting to feel like it's not really moving to be honest with you and hmm, this could be somebody getting swept away with greed for some of you I don't know why I wanted to say that. Like, again, this guy really does have his eyes, you know, on the prize. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. And um, it's like he stopped moving. He was on a journey, but I feel like he stopped moving in this card. This, this horse looks really sad, maybe bored. Like, just kind of, um, yeah. Oh, waiting. Um, so... Some of you could be waiting, maybe, waiting for someone to, maybe, um, for, uh, this is weird, I'm going to say for some of you, you could be waiting for this person to get their eyes off of the prize, quote unquote, and back on you. <laughs> maybe they're more too focused on their finances right now. They could be overworking. They could be just transfixed on the money right now, transfixed on their financial goals perhaps, to the point where they may even be neglecting you, they may not be really focused on you right now, okay? So for some of you, that may apply. 
Um, maybe this is your energy. You could be very transfixed on money or on your um, career goals or whatnot this month, okay? So keep that in mind and let's move now to the next card. I'm gonna just flip these back over. So now we have, it is safe for you to love. So others of you are wondering, is it safe for me to love and open my heart to this person? This person probably puts you on a pedestal. This person makes you feel like a queen. They admire you, they literally look up to you. They have no problem just stepping out of your way and just letting you shine in the spotlight. They have no problems, no qualms with letting you do your own thing and letting you do you, being the best version of yourself that you can be. This person may also view you as the high priestess or someone who is very much connected to the angelic realms, someone that's connected to the divine, um, maybe very spiritually oriented and balanced, someone that receives messages of angelic guidance, okay? Because these little angels are whispering in her ears. Um, <clears throat> this man is holding his sword downward in the corner. He's just kind of just hanging out, um, just watching her be her beautiful, graceful self. So whoever this is, if some of you are in this predicament with a certain somebody, don't worry. This is a very good relationship for you to be in. It is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to be yourself and open your heart to opening, I mean, to receiving and giving love in, in at the maximum capacity, basically. And that makes you so much stronger, so much stronger for it. Uh, this is something that will bring you a lot of power, something that will truly empower you. And I say that because we also got the empowerment card over here and synchronicity. So I'll cover that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, with the chariot here as a clarifier for that card, I do feel as though this is the card of victory. Some of you have made a choice between two people. Others of you are just moving off and pushing in the right direction with this love romantic partner, whoever this is. Some of you, I, I'm hearing a proposal you could be getting proposed to this month. Um, and it could be coming in very swiftly and suddenly. And for others of you, maybe this chariot card is describing this relationship. So this thing that comes in very quickly, or this uh, relationship, or this person, whoever this is, may, may have come in very suddenly into your life. Maybe you didn't know them for very long before you got together or before you started um, dating. Um, for others of you, you may not have met this person yet and you are going to in the month of May. And when you meet this person, it will be absolutely all right and 100% okay for you to open up to this person. It could be a, cha a, can a cancer, excuse me. Almost couldn't say that, wow. <laughs> And uh, if not, they may have cancer in their chart very strongly. Um, but the chariot is the card of victory. So whatever this is, this looks really great, guys. Keep it up. If that's what you have going on, congratulations. That's a gift, okay? That's really beautiful, Taurus. Um, I'm thinking. Um, I'm just going to take a look at this really quickly. I notice in this card, I was just looking at this card and I'm realizing that this person has two things in their hands. It's like a piece of paper, like a card in one hand, and then like um, a scepter in the other, sort of, and it seems like he's making a choice. He or she is making a choice between these two sphinxes, okay? So maybe some of you are choosing, all right? Um, you could be deciding to commit to someone as well, too. It's possible, okay? Definitely. Now, let's see. When we do the uh, how do they feel about me card reading, you guys should definitely tune in. 
um, you'll pick a card and you can see what your love interest is feeling about you. We also have passion here for some of you. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So it looks like a really ex very passionate month and not just maybe intimately or romantically, but also creatively as well. I see with the magician being here as a clarifier that you have all the tools that you need, all that it takes this month, all the connections, all the networks and the networking, all of the opportunities that you need. You just simply need to ask and you shall receive it this month, okay? You're a very powerful manifester. You are the magician. I feel this is you. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be very passionate with an Aries this month, okay? Um, but I do strongly feel like no matter what it is that you are passionate about, you are and will be able to powerfully manifest that into your life. You have the power to do it. This is like having the cheat codes, okay, <laughs> to the universe. So just ask, pray, visualize, whatever technique you use to basically manifest whatever you want for yourself. Do that now more than ever because this is a very powerful month for you, Taurus, okay? All of your passions are extremely supported by the universe this month. You just literally need to make a wish, ask for it, and you will receive, okay? Now, pay attention to the signs this month because we have synchronicity, and I think like your life path, your purpose, your um, wherever it is, whatever you have questions about, they will be revealed to you this month. We have the synchronicity card. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. We have crystals here. We have dolphins here. Some of you could be learning about healing and crystals, crystal healing, energy work, shamanic work, dream interpretation. I'm, I'm seeing, um, wow, like all that just came in. Crystal, light, um, what am I seeing? This is amazing. When I see dolphins, normally I feel like this is talking about a pair that is for life. So some of you could be maybe meeting a life partner this month, um, or a union could be coming about for some of you. And this is a, like a serious spouse or life partner, somebody that you're definitely um, feeling very strongly connected to. You may even share sort of like a telepathic connection with this person. Um, you may meet this person or learn about them through crystals or crystal healing or something to do with these crystals. They're very much so uh, jumping out at me literally. So I do think literally they apply to you as well in some cases, okay? If you guys have any questions about crystals and whatnot, definitely. Um, check out the Crystal Bible if you want to purchase that or you can um, just online anywhere on Google look up the healing properties of crystals okay empowerment you're more powerful than you realize definitely and it's safe for you to be powerful and a lot of you definitely you don't realize just how strong and beautiful you are. You know, I'm now seeing this this um, mermaid angel sort of beautiful um, creature. She is shining like like literally in the spotlight. Like so, some of you will definitely be in the spotlight this month. And you know what? I think people are going to love you. Um, there's this woman. She's cheering. She's got her hands outstretched and another woman over here in the corner this mermaid and she's like high five and just admiring you and you look just amazing gorgeous beautiful and serene you look like this um to others i feel like you look ethereal this month others see you as like a true empress or emperor or as a goddess you know i really feel like all eyes are on you and it's just like magnetic for you it's just like an attraction it's just it's very powerful and some of you are probably stepping out into the spotlight this month more than you ever have in your entire life's 
Like some of you for the first time are really taking a risk on yourselves and believing in yourselves and other people are noticing it too. So that will empower you and you will be feeling like a whole different person. It will change your life by the end of this month, Taurus, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching this reading and I hope you guys resonated it uh, with it, excuse me. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the subscribes and for the thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you.